So whenever you log into your Facebook account, you're being required to submit a six or eight digit backup code at the same to your WhatsApp number or to authenticate an app. But unfortunately, you don't have access to those. Then today's video, I'm going to show you how to log into your Facebook account without two-factor authentication code. So watch the complete video and if this video is useful, consider giving a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more upcoming recovery tutorials. So without further ado, let's begin. Now when you submit your Facebook details and then you click on login to log into your Facebook account, you will get this interface, check your WhatsApp messages. So guys you need to submit a code sent to your WhatsApp number. But the problem is you can't access your WhatsApp number. So when you click on try another way, then you select the second option, authenticator app. Also here the problem is you can't access your authenticator app. So the first solution guys is to click on try another way here at the bottom once more. Then here under need another option, click on this link account recovery. So click on that link. Then other ways to confirm you on this account, you select the option submit a photo of your ID. So click on that option. So now we'll be brought to this page, we'll walk you through a few steps. So step one, tell us how we can reach you. So guys, you need to submit an email address or you need to have an email address that you can access at the moment. Then step two is to upload your ID. So click on next here at the bottom. So now how can we reach you? So submit either an email or a WhatsApp number that you can access at the moment. So I'll submit an email. Now after submitting an email or a WhatsApp number, then click on next. So a confirmation code has been sent to that email that you just submitted. So minimize this browser and open your Gmail application. Now copy this confirmation code sent by Facebook. Then go back and submit that confirmation code here. Then click on next. So now the next step guys is to choose the type of ID to upload. So all these are all types of ID that Facebook allows. So you can choose either your passport, driving license, national ID, marriage certificate and so on. So select the third option, national ID. Then scroll down and click on next here at the bottom. So now the next step is to submit a photo of your ID. Then click on submit. So identity confirmation in progress. We usually review information within 48 hours. We'll send you a notification once you have made a decision. So guys you need to wait for that time so now you receive an email within that time, but I received mine within 15 minutes, so it depends. So now go ahead and open your Gmail application and then open that email. So guys, this is the email. Thank you for confirming your identity. You can click the button below to get back into your account. So guys, I've given you two options to get back into your account. So the first one is the code and the second one is the link. So you can choose either to use the link or the code. So the choice is yours. So I'll click on the link. So confirm access to your phone. Do you still have access to at least one of these numbers? You select no. Then you'll see your account is unlocked. You can now use your account. Please add a phone number to receive a login approvals in the future. So click on turn off two-factor authentication. Then click on OK. So 
So now the next step is to go to your Facebook and then submit your Facebook password to login back to your Facebook account. So now after submitting your Facebook password, just click on login. And by doing that, you have now logged in back to your Facebook account and the two-factor authentication will be turned off. So guys, that's how to log into your Facebook account without two-factor authentication code. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, kindly leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel for more recovery tutorials. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.